What's up everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. Today we are at the Beacon Hill Golf Club out in, I believe it's Commerce Township, Michigan. I could be wrong, it could be Walled Lake or White Lake. Um, I know this is the home course of the Walled Lake Northern Knights. Stop interrupting me, you stupid sky rats. <sighs> Anyways, um, as I try to drown out the goose's noise, um, this is a uh, course about 20 years old. It's in great shape. I can already tell. The greens look phenomenal. Um, this is actually the sister course to or owned by the same people as Greystone out in uh, Romeo, which has the best finish in Michigan golf. Um, I don't know if you saw um, my video where I almost made an eagle on that par five. It got like this close. Um, that was at Greystone. So this is the sister course to that. There's Brentwood just across the road. That's the home course of the Lakeland Eagles. Shout out to Ryan O'Rourke of Wald Lake Northern and McCoy Biajoli of Lakeland, D1 state finalists um, from those respective schools. Um, they kicked my butt at states. Uh, Ryan shot a 148, McCoy shot a 152, I shot a 159. Um, I gotta tell you, both of those guys had a par round, 72, both of them. Unbelievable. Just imagine how good they're doing at this course. Um, it's a 69.3 rating, 133 slope, I believe. I could have that wrong. It might be 132, but regardless, slope is high, out of bounds in a lot of places. Gotta take less club today. Um, just not, um, just can't be risking it with the um, with the out of bounds. It's everywhere. All the houses. You're gonna see a whole lot of this. Houses next to the course. Um, really nice golf course. I played here once before. Um, played really bad, which is why you didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm trying to be more honest with my game, guys. I promise. Um, but I figured I'd give you an on course intro for you. This course deserves it. Um, I haven't done one in a while, so yeah, figured I'd do that for you. Nobody really behind me. Um, group just pulled up to the green, so I'm going to get going. Let's do it. All right, guys, getting into it. Figured I'd do a little on-course intro there for you. Haven't done one of those in a while. Figured I would give this course credit where credit is due beacon hill golf club in commerce township michigan very very nice golf course owned by the same people who own graystone home of the best finish in michigan golf as i was talking about in the intro there next to the first t sign so yeah if for those of you who have played graystone it's a nice course, and uh, those last three holes are something else. And uh, if you like Greystone, you're going to like this one, guys. I promise Beacon Hill is in great shape. We're talking greens running at a, probably a 10. R bunkers in great shape, raked, and ready to go for you. No footprints really anywhere. And um, really accurate pin placements. Sometimes courses will put a red pin where it's really darn close to the middle. And yeah, it might as well be a so white driving pin. Driving to the second hole, we've got... I don't think the pin matters on this one, though, as you can see three. the yardage there. As right out I, of the um, gate. Complain because I got a bogey in the last hole and don't want to get another one. My goal... In this round was to be one over through three holes or better. That's really been my goal for a while now in a lot of my rounds. I just I just haven't been able to do it. I don't know why. Well, maybe top shots have something. And he just it. duffed it. I 
I don't know what to say. That's probably one of the worst tee shots I've ever hit in my life. Yeah, we're talking, yeah. As I try to um, gouge my tee out of the ground there, and I sort of angrily, and I'm like, ah, forget it. You're gonna re-tee at the ladies tee anyway, so why bother? So I go up to the ladies tee, drop a ball. I said re-tee, I, I dropped a ball. And um, now we're uh, hitting a shot from about 106 instead of 206 into this screen. Um, and I hit it really good. One of my better sandwich shots, definitely better than the first one. Definitely better distance control. Sorry for the ass shot there. Um, but I really did take my time with this one. I really did want to... Um, exemplify to you guys that even though this was for bogey even though it was a really long putt that i probably wasn't gonna make i gave it a really really good effort and i just barely missed out really and as you can see i am very pissed off three over through two holes definitely not the way we wanted to start out today and now I'm waiting for a slow group in front of me. Can't see around the corner. I don't know if there's more groups ahead of them or they're just being slow, but I mean, I'm one to talk. I'm three over, of course I'm being slow. There's two some behind me, maybe I'll pair up with them. Anything to help me out right now. Tell you what though, whenever you're not playing well and you're just waiting on each and every hole, it sucks when you have to, it sucks when you have to marinate in your bad score, you know? It sucks when I have to marinate three over. So after that long wait, I'm like, I just uh, do a couple stretches off to the side, really make sure to brush that fairway wood along the surface of the ground not dig a divot but not top it i was really scared to hit a fairway wood off the tee because i know driver is too much i know driver uh, could go into that bunker on the right there um which is like 270 out from the tee so um i hit a three wood i hit it about 240 i hit it pretty good and um I, after what happened on number two i was so relieved that i was able to hit a uh, fairway wood off um, the tee there. I hit a pretty bad nine iron after that, so now I'm sty sort of stymied behind this tree here, and it's 128 out. I lasered it. I hit it about 10 yards long of that. There's out of bounds beyond the green. I didn't see my ball in anybody's yard. I looked through a bunch of the flowers um, that they had. Sorry to all the homeowners that um, may or may not have uh, experienced slight trampling in the flowers. I, I tried my best not to damage anything, I promise. So, um, I mean, I act as though it's, it's a lateral hazard. I mean, I'm not going to drive back. I mean, it's not like I knew for certain it was out of bounds um, or in uh, any sort of danger. So obviously I'm not, I'm not going to try to try to hit another shot, waste another ball and look. I mean, I, I'm trying to have the group in front of me take the hint that I want to play through. I mean, I got work after this. I can't be late, man. So, um, after that, it was, um, you know, pretty good shot, honestly, from behind that green. Um, wasn't an up and down, but, um, I had a pretty good shot from where I was, had to bounce it into the hill and I got to about 12 feet. Now this hole, I have good history with this hole. I feel like I can really get a kickstart on my round. I can really 
kind of settle in, try to uh, make a good score here pretty straight away. I don't know about you guys, but I think the power lines make this hole look really, really cool. I think that's actually kind of pretty looking, even though it's um, a bunch of uh, metal rods nailed together instead of some trees or some water, but I think, I think it looks pretty cool. And you know what else looks pretty cool? Wedgeworthies, everybody. Oh my goodness. I gotta tell you, that pin was... So the green kind of notches off to the left. So there's not any fairway run-up space on the left. So I had to chip over like three quarters of that carry was rough. So that was really tough chip shot. And I hit it in the perfect spot. I put it right in um, the fringe cut between the green and the rough, about 10 feet before the hole, got it to about three feet, tap it in. All right, so now that gives us a little bit of confidence and it's gone. The woods off the tee, what's the deal? Oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even like that 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 like you don't you guys don't I, the reason I'm getting mad is because I don't see myself do that very often like I, I pull hook my five wood and three wood a lot but I don't top it very often and um Where'd that go? just things felt all wrong with the three wood there on on T that 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 was going on that day um I can't even put sentences together. I'm so mad just watching it. So then I drop about 50 yards up, and it goes into the hazard again. Yeah. Honestly, guys, that was probably me just a little bit um, not being cognizant because I'm kind of mad. Uh, I didn't know how, f how close the turnoff was from the gold tee because... Um, I played lateral. Um, I didn't go up to the drop zone. I played lateral. I played everything lateral today. Uh, I decided to make that decision after um, I hit that shot over the green on number three. And the reason being is just, I mean, I'm not, if I, I I'm not going to know for certain if it goes out of bounds unless it's like a really, really terrible shot. So... You know, it is what it is, guys. I mean, I try my best, but it's hard. We desperately need some magic juice right now. Here we go. Magic All right. juice, here we go. As you can man. see, I'm like, you know what? Get your head in the game, drink some magic juice, see if it helps you out. And so we are at... A very cool hole. I, this is a very unique hole. Beacon Hill, honestly, I think the course layout of this place is absolutely phenomenal. A bunch of different kinds of holes. Risk-reward holes. Picturesque holes. Um, I, I recommend anybody in central and western Oakland County to check it out. I really do. I... You guys are definitely going to see some more videos from here. I love this place. 36 bucks for 18 holes with a cart. So, I don't know. Kind of feels like a waste of money so far being eight over, but we do have a birdie putt, and it has a chance, and it falls! Oh, that's what we needed! Finally, something to steady the storm. Boom, birdie. Signs yes. of life. I told you the magic juice. Whoop, whoop. Maybe I'm getting a little superstitious with the magic juice, though. I played um, Lapeer Country Club. I was 8 over through 12, and I needed to par out in order to shoot 79. I decided, you know what, I'm going to drink some magic juice on this 13th tee, and I absolutely made a mess of the hole. So, um, 
yeah, sorry you did, guys didn't get to see anything from there. Um, I've got a this bunch of course logs that I want to show you guys, folks. and um, I barely even need the wide angle lens to show you the out of bounds on both sides. Actually, no, I can get out of. Oh my goodness. Yeah, seven is stroke hole one. All right, me interrupting myself, uh, past me interrupting my present self again. You guys have seen that before on this channel. All right, so I've just had a a lot of um, recent like little day trips to these different courses, kind of a little bit out there um, from where I'm from and. Um, I have a lot of golf vlogs coming out soon. Like, I have, like, six videos worth of golf vlogs on my phone right now. My phone is, like, maxed out on storage. So, I do apologize for um, not being able to film every round. I mean, I'm probably not going to do that anyway. I do really try to be honest with myself though and not delete anything just because I'm mad about it like here I told myself you know what I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep recording after that fifth hole that I'm gonna big. keep going and see if big. I can pull something off and if not I want you guys to see maybe the times where I let it get in my head that I'm hitting good shots and they're just not quite going in the directions I want so, and that uh, just kind of makes me spiral into a very hasty uh, sort of mindset, like trying to gain all the strokes I lost back in one hole. And um, it just ends up getting worse and worse. I think you guys have seen that even in some of my decent rounds, like some of my bad rounds, like Stony Creek. You, you could tell in some of my swings in Stony Creek. I mean... I can certainly tell because, I mean, obviously, I'm the one who's feeling it. I feel as though, like, whenever I'm a significant amount over par, like, significantly above my handicap, I start to get, like, really tense in my feet. I start to really um walk a little bit faster, a little bit... Uh, shorter strides between shots or I'll drive there a little bit faster if I'm uh, in a cart just little things like that guys I mean it's kind of weird to say but that's um, what I notice and that's there's certain things that aren't golf swing related and aren't shot related that I need to get better at if I want to be better at golf. If you guys remember Jim from the uh, Golden Anniversary course vlog at Devil's Ridge, he told me something that I'll never forget. He said, golf is a game of the brain. And sometimes you think yourself into traps, mental traps, he said. And, um, here we go. Knee knocker putt. Mental trap here, right? Not want a double here. Look at look at how t look at how tight my waist is when I putting. Oh my god, it's so oh good. This is not good. It's beyond hard to watch. Oh my gosh. You could tell you could tell that like my head was twitching as I hit that ball. I'm like, I gotta look up, I gotta look up. Well, there's one situation where I definitely need to look up. Somebody's ball almost meteors into my head from like 250 yards away on an adjacent hole. So, guys, uh, yeah. this whole golf vlog's a mess. My voiceover is a mess. Um, I, as I'm recording this, my golf is a mess, guys. This is this is just, and I, I think you guys can tell I'm hitting a a few good shots. I can think of on. Pretty much every hole, one good shot, or at least one good strike I that I've had. And um, it's just not compiling away, into a good score here. What are you doing? Why are you standing there? And um, a guy um, in line of 
me possibly hooking this gap wedge is definitely not helping. After what uh, I saw coming at me from number one T. Yeah, number one T is um, off of the left side of your screen. Um, I was not going to try to aim at a pin significantly close to somebody. Oh, and of course he leaves right as soon as I hit the ball. Yeah. I don't know. I, I was planning on drawing it in anyway, and I just didn't draw it as much. I was like... You know what? We're going to try to draw this ball in. The green face is that way anyway. Yeah, the the little um arm of the green um with where this back pin is kind of um notches off to the left. So um at least I had an uphill chip and I did really good. Two wedge worthies. Could have been a uh, on this golf vlog. I'll tell you that much. Um and uh, definitely a better ending to the back nine than um, I thought I would have. I mean, I went one over on the last four holes, and I believe hole eight is handicap hole seven, and I believe hole nine is handicap hole nine. So three of those four holes, because obviously seven was stroke hole one, were holes that were on the harder half of the golf course. So maybe there's a little bit of a glimmer of hope there. Um, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes I'm just not on my A game. And if I want to become a single-digit handicapper, like, and I am a single-digit handicapper, but I mean like low single-digit handicapper, like we're talking five or less, I need to be able to figure out how to play better golf score-wise when I'm not on my A game strike-wise, if you know what I'm saying. Um, other than that, guys, um, I promise the back is going to be a lot better. Stay tuned. It's not over yet. We're going to rally like we always do, or at least it seems that way. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone. Back nine should be out in a few days.